Hello! Today I'm making a very simple and very quick uh, carrot cake. Uh, for that I, I'm using three carrots. Usually people use less, but I like more carrots. I have a two eggs, quite small. You can use a three if you want, by the way. I have here 100 grams or half cup, about half cup, of homemade plain yogurt. You can use just regular store um, plain Greek yogurt. I have one cup of unbleached whole um, whole purpose um, flour, which you can replace. Uh, you can make a half half with a whole wheat flour. You can uh, use here also buckwheat flour if you want to. Uh, so it's up to you. Also, what I need baking soda to neutralize acidity of the yogurt and I will need baking powder. Uh, this is my homemade uh, baking powder. I do have a video on it, um, how to make it. It's very simple and I will leave the link under this video. So I will need one teaspoon of these and half teaspoon of baking uh, soda. It's two different things. Baking soda and baking powder are two different things. One more um, thing I forgot is, um, of course, vanilla extract and I need some kind of oil. You can use melted butter, like 50 grams or half stick, uh, half stick of melted butter. You can use uh, any oil of your choice, uh, but I do not recommend olive oil, honestly, because it gives a specific taste and smell to it. But if you like it, so why not? I'm going to use a sunflower oil. I have here sunflower oil, and I will use about three tablespoons of sunflower oil in my in my dough. But first, what I have to do, I have to shred uh, the carrots. Shred it on the finest shredder you have. I have here that that shredder. It's rounded. I bought it on Amazon. It is absolutely amazing. See, it goes inside. Maybe you saw it in my other video. So this shredder gets fixed over here. See? I had that kind of shredder many, many years ago and it was a French-made Moulinex in Europe and now I, I found it and I was very happy. Actually, my husband found it. And now, how that works, I will show you in case you're interested. So, first pieces of carrots will go there. So, I have to cut the carrots. I just go inside. Don't cut carrots like I do. So, it's dangerous. And now, I will take this away. One carrot at a time. And now, all I have to do, just push this down, pressing this down, turn this handle. It's a little bit messy, but that's the carrot you get. See? Okay, all carrot is ready. Now, into my mixing bowl, I'm going to add first my yogurt. Oh, my oven is already preheat it to 320 degrees. We heard the beeping. And now into this I will add baking soda. And wait until it starts working. So that much. See, it's a teaspoon, right? And now I'm going to start mixing it until it starts bubbling. It takes one minute, almost immediately. You will feel the different changing of texture, see? Baking soda neutralizes the acidity of, see it's little bubbles. Hope you see it, right? It's bubbling. It is, it is a very, very important step. Okay, so here it is ready. Both eggs go there. Now I'm going to add all ingredients. And I have here almost a half cup, less than a half cup of sugar, vanilla extract, of course. Now with the eggs, I'm going to mix it and give it a light mix. You don't need any gadget here. Roughly mix it and add all the carrots. 
into my flour I'm going to add one whole spoon see with a mound of my baking powder I'm adding it into my flour and one cup of flour and I'm going to sift it all together into my dough I'm adding three tablespoons you can do two whatever you like one two three tablespoons of oil and mix it give it a really good mix and it depends on the flour of course sometimes it is like two three tablespoons more of flour it needs depending on humidity I like this consistency you see I transfer all the dough into this baking dish I'm sorry I forgot to press uh, the record button and here I have just the parchment paper or baking paper I lined around here not on the sides because I can uh, just separate it by knife after it is baked and all my dough is here and now I'm going to bake it at 320 degrees preheated oven uh, it should take about 40 minutes but I will tell you at the end how long it exactly took it took uh, about 45 minutes for my carrot cake That's it. my carrot cake cooled down almost almost cooled down and now all I have to do is just add it sprinkle it with uh, confectioner's sugar and serve it as I said it's very simple no nut, walnuts no raisins and nothing else just a very very simple and basic um, carrot cake now I will cut it and show you inside that's how it's very very moist and delicious see how moist it is delicious carrot cake very easy to make I hope you will enjoy this uh, simple carrot cake recipe thank you very much for watching bye